Yeah, and I have one. Hello. So who's this little fella? Do you know? No. We can I can only tell them apart if I measure their forearm. Oh, okay. They're all different lengths. So Kiri's what Kiri's taught me is that the best way to hold a bat, which is not what I'm doing a very good job of, but to put your thumb just on the top on their neck. So and then that way you can also look at his feet and he's squirming now. And I can also be able to stretch out his wing. I'll take my glove off then because it was just easier just to open up his wing there. Yeah, but as you've got control of the bat yeah. that you're actually handling in the glove then. But um, obviously wearing gloves is really important for disease purposes. So for a health check it's really important to look at his eyes. You see his eyes are really bright. Checking the ears as well. Checking the ears as well, yeah. It's obviously so relaxed she's not actually putting her ears up properly, so you'd have a bit of a look. It's like when you get a new bat in you need to examine it for any injuries. We just need to check because you know they, they can sometimes sustain an injury. We've had we've had a bat manage to get a bruise on its wing from presumably bumping into some of the wood. So we need to check they haven't done anything or any infections are coming back. So you can see the feet are nice and healthy. And the tail looks fine as well. Yeah, and uh, you can see that the thumb cord looks healthy. And if we open the wing, that looks fine. There's, there's a little bit of a scar there from a mite. But you, yeah, you do find that bats, like Kiri's found bats, with little holes in their wings, but they can still fly the membrane of the bat's wing, the fastest healing. Fastest healing tissue known in the animal kingdom. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, which is really interesting when you think about it. Just there, when my finger's under the wing, there's a little mite, so we're going to get some micropore tape and use it to catch the mite there, so we can take it off and it's not going to cause any irritation. And mites are quite normal, they, they do get mites and it's only really a concern if they have a heavy parasite load but we do try and stop them from being an irritant as well. And we and we use um, your average spot on as yeah, well. Yeah, we use frontline spot on yeah. if, it's, if it's a bad infestation but just the one like this we'll just take yeah. it off of the tape. For the health check also we uh, weigh the bats, which Kiri is going to demonstrate with one of our long-eared bats. Just keep my hand over the top because he didn't go face down like I was hoping he would. So he can obviously scrabble out in a second. So it's a less here, weighs 12.12 grams approximately. So that's a really good weight for a brown long-eared. They're normally supposed to be between seven to 12 grams and they can put on more than that if they're in captivity over the hibernation season and any excess weight will just drop off in spring, so that's, that's a really good weight. 